We've got Fox Weather's Kiana Lewis here with us today to help break down a pretty rare phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Kiana, every year, there's a weather phrase that sounds cool. People want to know about yeah. it. But it is possible in this scenario. It is. And actually, we've seen it with a name storm that we have up on the board right now before in the past. So if you believe it or not, the last time there was a storm named Umberto in the Atlantic, that was back in 2019. And it happened to impact Bermuda as well. That storm had that extra sting that Ian talked about, that sting jet that blasted through the islands. Here's what it looked like at the time. And you could see this curvature. Fun fact, the reason why it really adopted the name Sting Jet is simply because it looks like a scorpion. And as it approaches an island with these winds so high, well over 100 miles per hour at times, it kind of feels like a sting. So there we go with that name that Ian talked about. But this Sting Jet is a narrow band of intense winds within an extra tropical cyclone. So as it loses the tropical characteristics, we have this narrow band of dry uh, air that gets, you know, intruded within a system. And and essentially, it's a downburst, a very intense one that happens over the area that it's impacting. Here's some of the details with it. So it's super rare, and it typically is, is found in an extra tropical system, but it can unleash hurricane force winds even though the system has become extra tropical. So that's where it comes into place. And those winds could be felt down at the surface. We're talking 70, 80, 100 mile per hour winds that are sinking all the way down to the surface and making for localized damage. So here's a look at both of our systems up across the board right now. Umberto's well off towards the north. This isn't the one that we're worried about this go around. It's Imelda that we really have to watch. Notice as it approaches Bermuda, we likely will start to see it become extra tropical. Notice that Scorpio signature kind of taking shape of what used to be Imelda in the near future. And that is what could lead to this opportunity for that narrow quarter of really destructive winds kind of aiming towards Bermuda as it tries to pass on by. So that's going to be felt within the, say, next 24 hours or so. By Wednesday evening, that's what we're watching out for. Bermuda, keep a close eye to things because this is a look at some of the anticipated wind gusts that could be felt within that sting jet. We're talking 80 to 100 mile per hour winds kind of wrapping around as that system pulls towards the north. It will certainly be felt over Hamilton and back towards St. George. Notice that it's a huge range, 80 to 100 miles per hour. So, Ian, it's something that we, watch, we will be watching. You mentioned the term kind of taking more of that viral sensation, if you will. Yeah, it does have a sting to it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no question. Sounds cool. In, in practice, though, that is a problem. And as you said, it's happened before.